What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, The Aftermath, man. We back here at the gym. It's leg day. All right, about to get it in on this weekend. It's Saturday. We got E3 coming up. We got E3 coming up, which is our favorite event of the year. So make sure you guys hit that notification button. All right, we got gaming, we got fitness, and whatever else I can make out of the E3 videos. Um, so we'll be doing that uh, come, what, Tuesday? Starts Tuesday next week. And there's actually the EA thing if you want to go. EA Play. Yeah, today and tomorrow, I think. And then we might go to like the smorgasbord tomorrow. But anyways, check this out, man. I have some sick news for you guys. Now you know how much of a headphone person I am, how much I lose headphones, how much I buy headphones. And right now, I have, I've come across these headphones that are on my head right now that have changed the weightlifting tunnel vision game for me. So what these headphones actually do is they take like the shape of your head, the shape of your ears, and they format the, the sound of the music to, to you, specific, pers personalized. It personalizes the sound specifically to you. And these have put me in like so much more of a, like a deep, deeper connection. Cause when it comes to working out, bro, music is everything. If I don't have music and I'm like, and I, I don't feel like zoned out, I, I, need, I need to be zoned out to the point to where I feel like nobody is in here. And it's just like me and the weights, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, as much as I like the spotlight, I like to be, just be zoned in and focused. And these right here, right here, have been a fucking great. All right, it's been uh, about what? About a week, almost almost a week since I've used these. And I love them so far, you know what I'm saying? At first I thought I had some issues with them, but that was actually me, because I didn't read the whole manual. I was being stupid. Cause I was like, y'all thought this was to be personalized. And then you gotta go download the app and uh, do all the personalized stuff. But Super SX5 right here, headphones by Creative. And there'll be a link in the description for anyone who wants to get these at a discount. And um, yo, definitely check these out. I'll be giving it a little physical live test for you guys as well. And as you see, I showed you guys the um, like the setup, how it scans your ear, your face, and your other ear, and pretty much personalizes it for you. So you can control the bass, the treble, you can control all volume from pop to hip hop, hip hop to rock, and change all that. Let's get it. Changing that song, whoop, just like that. Another thing to add, I forgot to add. So you can volume, so you just swipe up or down for volume. You can change the song, swiping left to right. So very convenient. Here's a super X5 button that you press right there. You can also change the colors of the lights. So I uh, might change this to yellow since my, my mood is pretty, pretty bright today.
quick one off. We'll go five for two. I actually give y'all what I actually do. Stop I'm trying to just get y'all up. Super heavyweight. So last time I squatted was 605. 605, so that means I would do set to two or 485. I'm actually supposed to be doing front squats today, but I'm not too comfortable doing front squats right now with my knees still kind of bothering me. So I don't want really anything quad dominant in that, in that work, in, in this workout today. So just kind of doing a little bit extra as far as glute, glute works. I did glute works two days ago, backside. And uh, but once everything recovers, once I feel like I can start dunking and stuff, and jumping without thinking about hurting my knee again. Then I'll, I'll start doing front squat. Cause it's supposed to be uh, back. It's supposed to be a glutes hamstring day and then a quads day. Quads, calves, uh, dominant day. So once I get back to, I'm hoping that within the next two weeks I'll get back to regular schedule. And that's kind of how I do things. That's my, that's my split. Um, push, pull, lower body, conditioning, abs. Push pull, lower body conditioning abs. And uh, I know somebody asked on one of my videos before. So definitely try that out. Um, I'm gonna do, what else we wanna do? I think we got some unilateral work. Actually, we have some hip, we have some hip work to do, inner and outer, adduction, abductions. Those are being taken up right now. We're going to possibly do some Smith machine pulses. I've been, I've been, using my glutes a lot more, understanding the difference between the hamstring contraction and the glute contraction. So I've been using Smith Machine to help me with that, especially for my squat. Go a little bit wider. Um, what I do do on the Smith Machine sometimes, which I might do today, is sissy squats. Um, so I tested them out a couple days ago. It didn't bother me on my knees. So we might do that. And what I do, I do those high reps, like 20 reps. 20 reps, sissy squats, kind of like, actually like, like ballet, like ballet sissy squats with my feet are super turned out and this is my range of motion right here boom 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 work that teardrop on the inside of the quads which i've lost a lot of size in over the years just because i haven't focused on muscles specifically like that anymore i just focus on the muscle wholly instead of like the little minor things you have to work on and i kind of want to build that a little bit more so we'll get that done today and then um what I've been doing every other day is erogometer, er 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 ergometer, whatever, the row machine. Um, five minutes, a thousand meters. That's what I've been uh, working on. So, I mean, I get it done about four or five minutes, but yeah. So, now I'm gonna use this area to warm up a little bit more. We're gonna go left and right. We're gonna go over. Try not to get on your toes. I'm doing this. Open up those hips. Hip-hop man. Hey, finally something with no soy. There's so much other bad shit. Xanthan gum, that's the first bad thing you wanna you always see. 
No soy, no dairy, no egg. Snickerdoodle. You can do with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, that. Times like this, I'm about to do some athletic stuff, box jump. Let's get it. So I was supposed to do some hip stuff, but that area has literally been taken up for the last hour. So we're just gonna skip that. So I did some box jumps, four sets of five, uh, five reps. Um, after I did the vertical presses, did the squats, and then just do two more things. I just gotta figure it out. I'm kinda on the fly right now, just cause those are the last two things I was supposed to do. Adductors and adductors. Um, then we got sissy squats. Now, I'm not gonna do the sissy squats after doing the, putting the um, pressure on the knees from doing the box jumps. So, I might just do some sprints, to be honest. So yeah, let's go do some sprints. I'm gonna run outside somewhere. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.